agenda this evening tonight we are being recorded uh, by ACMI um, first off I want to thank John Seltzer for submitting <coughs> your research um, I know the board and staff are still reviewing that but I appreciate you sending that in it's been made public as part of the agenda this evening uh, I will give you uh, some time on October 7th to present that when the town manager speaks as part of the same conversation as an agenda item We'll work out how long you get and, and make sure that you have the appropriate uh, equipment. To, uh, are you to do saying a I can't talk about it all this evening I'm, during the open forum? I'm I'm telling you that I'm offering you the opportunity okay. for an extended period of time to have a back and forth. I think it's appropriate when the town manager is here that you can present your your findings and your your uh, <coughs> your homework, as it were, on that evening. I think it's appropriate to do it then when the town manager is here. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, the board will, will, will have a more productive back and forth as part of that agenda item rather than part of the open forum. But I think that's a good way to get you on the agenda and have you heard fairly. Okay? Okay, thank uh, you. Um, <clears throat> so first in our agenda this evening is 19R Park Ave and 117 Broadway, which is the uh, Housing Corporation of Arlington project. What we're doing this evening uh, is not reopening a special permit. Those special <coughs> permits were already granted by this board. Uh, we are here this evening to review final plans and specifications. Uh, this is not a public hearing. This is not a special permit hearing. I will allow for brief questions from the public just because this has been uh, a process. But <coughs> I think at this time I'll call up Pam Hallett from the ACA, HCA, sorry, uh, to present what's here this evening and we can uh, go through things. Okay, good evening. Thank you very much for having us tonight. I want to introduce Paul Workington, who is our uh, architect with Davis Square Architects. He's the main architect on the, the deal. Um, so we are here to essentially um, answer to the conditions uh, that were in the special permit so that we can at this point go ahead and apply for our permit. We are uh, anticipating getting into the ground this fall, assuming all pieces with the financing fall into place. Um, and so we're pretty excited to go ahead and show you what we have and solicit any feedback and uh, make our, our, our presentation. So, Paul, do you want to go ahead? Right, thank you. Um, so, yes, as Pam said, I'm Paul Workington, uh, Davis Square Architects. Also happen to be a 10-year resident of Arlington, so I'm working with this, too. So. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great privilege and an opportunity to be able to work in my, in my own town. Uh, so, starting off, we'll go through the plans on the 19-hour park avenue, which we have typically called Downing Square, because that's right in the area. Uh, so, the overall site plan for this is more or less unchanged. It's still the access from Lowell Street uh, bringing you into a, a parking lot in front of the larger building, a smaller three-story building on the corner, larger four-story building in the back. The, the boundaries of these and the, and the, the overall size of those are unchanged. Um, we, um, I'll get to that in a second, but we have uh, lighting, some light poles uh, along the uh, along the parking lot, keeping that all illuminated. Uh, these are designed to have cut off to keep all the light on the uh, on the property itself. Uh, we still have our stair and ramp that come down to the to the bikeway and a bridge going across the the so-called No Name Brook that also uh, links to the bikeway, giving us for the uh, giving us actual disabled access to the uh, to the bikeway. Um, but that overall site plan, more or less unchanged. Uh, we do have included with this package some uh, utilities, but pursuant to some of the questions that were had, uh, planning plans. So some uh, trees along, along Park Avenue here, trees lining our entry in, some lower, uh, some lower uh, shrubs along here. Um, obviously, this area right now is completely overgrown with knotweed and a lot of nasties. That's all getting, that'll all be uh, cut down and, and trimmed out in order for us to do our, our, our site work. So we have, but we are um, bringing, 
uh, putting a couple larger trees uh, along the bikeway on that side. Um, and then exterior wise, I'm going to skip past you know, sediment and control. That was all through. And so the exterior, the principal change that we made on the exterior was the window configuration. Um, previously, we had a somewhat more gridded, some, some called it in previous hearings a little bit more, quote, industrial, unquote, look to it. Uh, for various reasons, not least of which was cost, we have a have a, a simpler window system and one which actually also uh, has a, a, a more, we think, residential look to it and probably a little more appropriate. Uh, so that is probably the largest change overall. The colors, I'm, I apologize for this, came out a, a bit muddy on these prints, but they, on the, the color laser prints are a little bit better. I've got a few copies of those here. Um, you've got a sample of the brick for, for investigation. But we're basically looking at these being like some typical, typical colors being something on that order. Um, and the only other significant change, and it, I hesitate to really call it significant is was we we had we increased each floor to floor height by three inches we're keeping the entire height of the building still within the overall uh, what was required um, the height from top of curb at the street uh, so that's still within the, the 40 feet above top of curb so that is that's the, the one change overall so we did add um, like about a foot three overall height of the building um, relative to our previous submission. With this is something we just absolutely needed in terms of being able to fit in mechanical systems and structural systems as we develop the building in greater detail. Um, so, move, so that's our large building at the Downing site and our smaller building, our three-story building. This is, we've got a couple elevations here. Um, this is the elevation of our, of our driveway side, okay, so our driveway faces this side, this is the side facing, Parking. um, actually this is I think the side facing, like if you're coming over the bridge on Park Ave, this is kind of the view you would see, uh, this is, this is more the elevation, um, relative, this is the elevation on Park Ave, and this is the um, elevation right at Lowell Street. So, but again, we were keeping this more of a smaller scale uh, residential look relative to the, uh, to the overall neighborhood. As we, Which side's on Park Street? Hmm? Which side's on Park Street? Um, this is the park, uh, the park Ave elevation. As, as you look at it, if, as as if you were across the, the street. Yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're Standing across <coughs> the street on Park Street. If you were, overall, yeah, if you were at that supermarket, the little super shop the or the tattoo, yeah, yeah, right, you would be, you'd be looking at this. That's the one. And why don't you show him the one, go back one, yeah, so he can so see what it looks like coming back. over the bridge. Yeah, so this is, this is kind of the elevation, like, from our driveway side, so the main entrance to the building is from our driveway, and this is sort of the end of the building, if you were standing where the gas station is uh, and just looking directly at it. So heading side. away from Mass Ave. Yes. Correct, mm -hmm. yes. Looking in that direction, yeah, looking, that's what you see. Yeah, looking up so towards, the, towards the intersection yeah. if you're on the bridge. Give you a kitty corner from the lawyer's office right in the corner there, mm -hmm. you can see that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of the more prominent things. So moving on to 117 Broadway, again, we didn't have uh, uh, a lot of changes on the overall layout to this. Uh, we still have a couple of entrances around here. We're uh, in the process of talking to our potential tenant as, as to whether or not we're gonna have every single one of these doors. We may, they may not need one, so it may just be glazing instead of a glass door. Uh, so you're looking at, at one tenant? For yes, the, oh, yes, yes, okay. um, Arlington Eats, which it used to be the food pantry. Okay. They've now decided they want the entire space. Great. Great. Right. So, um, so yeah, we're um, pretty much using the, the, the bulk of the site here. 
Um, utilities. Got some grades on them. Uh, in terms of planting, you know, we, we do have a, a fence at the property line and a uh, and a uh, along that backside. We're looking to have uh, a couple of small planters um, on the along the sidewalk in front. Um, if we can, I mean, we're showing some some street trees along here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, our plans are assuming that we're based mainly on condition that the uh, uh, sidewalk there is going to is going to get redone. Um, so that's there's a, a little bit of of uh, planting here at the edges, but we're uh, keeping this mainly for the uh, for overall planting consideration. Did the number of parking spaces increase uh, from our our last approval? No. 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 So, moving on to elevations again, not a lot of not a lot of change here. We did move around some windows based on some uh, some structural considerations and just needing to have some some things line up a little bit better. Uh, but the overall uh, system of having brick here, brick going around this curve, which is one of our, our big things, and having like an also this curved element up here at the top. Those are all parts that we retain. We still have the set step back um, from the from the third story to the fourth. So everything on the fourth story is is uh, you know, smaller, more structural headaches, but okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, we're currently showing some, just like some navy blue awnings here. Uh, Pam and I haven't talked a lot about the color <laughs> of these awnings, um, and and you know I, I, I think we, we there may be some interest in, in Arlington Eats having mm -hmm, some kind I mean, of input to mm -hmm, that, but mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. I, I think we're but a little it bit. It sort of ties into the same so. blue here, so I don't want yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but um, we thought it went overall. Again, you know, the colors of printouts are often not exactly what we would want to see, but we're we're basically thinking this would be the the base color for this, that color extends, it's a little more extensive on the back side of the building. We'd be using the same, uh, the same brick uh, mix that we were showing for the other set of buildings, but the, the back side gets a little more of the, uh, the beige clattered kind of look. Oops, no, oh, it's upside down. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's so it's not going to be upside down, however. Gravity. <laughs> this one's right side down, I um, Anyway, so this, for instance, is the uh, the parking lot elevation. Okay, so um, if you're standing on the field, looking across the field and across our parking lot, this is kind of the, uh, the, the look you'd have. But the more prominent elevations, the first two that we looked at, they have the brick and the curve going around, along the front. Um, these casement windows or um, I can't. I yeah, can't um, these are these double. are double hungs. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Some of the other ones are uh, are like a tilt out casement, yeah, or or awning. Awnings or mm -hmm. okay. okay. I had go ahead. Go ahead. This I remember this project precisely, and uh, one of the former board members had talked to uh, about um separating the two entrances and the front on broadway yeah. yeah okay and potentially moving one of the entrances to the corner right and so we it did activates uh, we it activates the corner yeah. and just gives you an opportunity to better divide the thing up in the future yeah we should be able to see it here yeah so is there a door there yeah, yeah so there the, are this two is, actually this is the main entrance to our our uh our residential part of the building so this is along Everett Street mm -hmm. along the corner our main entrance does to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the to the tenant space are either on this corner or off of so there is a door so there are two yeah. actually yeah. So right there are, now there are two doors, doors in, in the corners is there a floor plan of that uh, well, yeah actually yeah, here yeah, right in this one in the, in the set. I see it. I know. I see it. Yeah. On either side of the curve. Yeah. yeah. Can you see it? That's yeah. Nice okay. Sign. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, That's all right. Yeah, I no. didn't see that. I remember that was a comment that. Uh, yes. That uh, mm -hmm. you know we felt strongly about just to make mm -hmm. sure there's activity in the corner so it's not all off to the side. I agree. Yeah. And we I agree. think that 
that's a nice point. It is, absolutely. Okay. And it, it does look very good. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. No problem. Um, so uh, that's about what I have on this. Do um, we have comments or questions? Just quickly maybe going through the exterior yep, lighting. And uh, there's the other parts of the submission, perhaps, the bike. Okay, so the, the bike. Um, and the uh, sign. Okay, the signage, we, the only, we don't have a lot of signage on our buildings mm -hmm. right now at this point. What we're basically anticipating is for the residential entrances like this would have, like the, the street number mm -hmm. on this, on the, uh, like in the transom glass. Uh, we've got this lettering here on the, on the, the small Downing Square site. We didn't really have any lettering on the, the larger building on Downing because you kind of can't see it from the street. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have to be like all the way in. You'd, you'd, have, you'd have already turned into the driveway before you saw the sign, so it's not really doing a lot of good there. Um, so well, will you be putting a pylon sign in the driveway? Anticipating that? Um, we have done that at Capitol Square, if you remember. Yes, I know that. Yes, yeah. right. So we could do something like that. Um, we often don't have signage on our buildings, um, and sometimes that's purposeful and sometimes it's not. So uh, we haven't actually discussed it in depth. So at this point, we would probably not be thinking about doing that. If we do, we would come back and present it to you. Okay. Yeah, um, the other, in terms of like coming back too, we're, we're sort of under the assumption that our, our potential tenant, tenant. at, uh, mm -hmm. at, at uh, 117 would want to have mm -hmm. some signing, the mm -hmm. nature of which we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, but that would be its own process. Is mm -hmm. there, is there tenants and, and they're would you want doing to see their build out and would you want to see their signage before? Y yeah, and I think I think what I'd really far. like to understand is where, in order for them to have an adequate sign to announce, you know, them as a tenant, mm -hmm. to think really about where <coughs> on the that front facade is it is it just above that central en entrance? If you wind up having more than one tenant because you have a couple of entrances on the side, I would just think about leaving enough of a sign band. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. th they'd also have an opportunity to um, light it. From an you know exterior source, if that's something that that they that they um, want to do, mm -hmm. and the other thing too is just to think about you know this awning goes up and over the residential entrance, and it also covers the the um, the, the windows into that that business. Which yes. mm -hmm. you know again, if you're really trying to differentiate between the oh, the two, point, it, yeah. it might be something to to think Break about. That up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good point. Especially if you're not going to sign it other than the, the mm -hmm. address. <coughs> we'll make it easier to find. Mm -hmm. Just clearer. Yeah. For mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and what, I, what I might consider at that point is just because we are on, we are facing the street here and it's west facing, we'd, we'd probably be getting a good amount of sun on that side. Mm -hmm. Probably want to keep some, keep shade as much as we can, certainly across here. But we could do like a different shape of awning or something mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. that does do what you're talking right. about. Or perhaps it's more of kind of a flat, you know, um, yeah, canopy yeah. as opposed to the, the awning. It mm -hmm. just might be nice to differentiate the two. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Ken, I didn't mean to. Nope. No, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, they asked for the more more precisely on the lighting plan. Okay, um, more more precisely on the lighting. So we talked we talked a little bit about the site lighting at um, at Downing yeah. Downing at one seventeen. Let's see, if I've got it. On. What about lighting on the building though itself? Sorry, I'm, I may I may have missed that part. Yeah, there's some there is uh, there's some lighting like on it's shown on the the. Electrical first floor plan, but there is some lighting on the on the back side, a few a few lighting at, at a few uh, lights at the uh, at the um, the the soffits over the over the windows mm -hmm. or the main entrances on the, uh, the street side. There's a, a pole mounted light fixture here, uh, illuminating the parking lot. So you know, we are looking at the uh, the overall lighting in. in the floor <coughs> While we're on that, is there any lighting at the entrance to the residential yes. building? Yes. So where where is that on the Okay, building? so the residential entrance is here, at this point here. So there are there are you know uh, down lights in the uh, 
over the uh, over this the soffit at the entry there. Okay. And there are also you know there's also going to be obviously inter interior lights and windows. So that's that's the uh, correct where we're different differentiating. Different. Yes. 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 That's that. Okay. That is that entrance. Got yeah. it. And, and on your plan. That, so that is recessed. So that's correct. where you're yeah. putting light. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Oh, and bikes. bikes, right. So bikes, we have um, two bike storage systems. So the one, we, it's this is similar to what we had shown on our earlier our earlier plan, is an exterior this, this gated um, area here. So we have we have fence that goes along and a, and a locked mm -hmm. gate. So, but it's all completely undercover mm -hmm. at that point. Um, and we have this. Uh, just uh, in, it was included in the links. But this kind of like you know hang up rack system uh, that has capacity. We're thinking like two of these eight foot long sections. They hold about nine bikes each, so a total. So we have more bikes than units on the site. So we've mm -hmm. got um, we've got 14 units, and we have capacity for 18 bikes at that one. So that's that's on the exterior there. Um, but again, completely covered and uh, and out of the weather. And those are the only bike racks. Yes. David, you wanted to ask some questions. We, uh, right now. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this was actually the the first project that came before us where we really started looking um, uh, intensively at um, at more sophisticated bike parking mm -hmm. options, and uh, I really appreciate. Um, uh, the effort you made to allocate space for them and and, and find a solution. A um, couple of things. Um, um, you you may be aware that um, that uh, since since we permitted this project, um, we've um, adopted significantly different bike parking requirements mm. for the town. Um, and um, while um, <clears throat> I don't think we can impose those on you at this point, and uh, I don't think that would be, be entirely fair for us to try. Um, <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, I, uh, there are a couple of things um, I, I'd like to, um, to talk about. The first is, um, while I appreciate the, the space efficiency of, of the hanging rack systems, mm -hmm. These are explicitly not permitted by by our new bike parking bylaw. Um, so um, that's that's potentially problematic. Well, can you can you just explain why? Um, we don't currently allow any racks that require the bikes to be lifted uh, off the ground. Okay. Um, okay. And and that's 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 something that's new. Mm -hmm. That that mm -hmm. was not something that was explicit in our bylaws okay. um, prior to, I mean, to this I, previous I town meeting. I mean, there there are obviously lots of different mm -hmm. you know bike rack configurations. Yeah. This is one that we've um, you know we in, in other situations we've had some success yeah. with. Uh, you know, we can certainly go to a less you know a, if it's all just side by side kind of things and we can't we wouldn't lift them yeah. it's a little bit less dense mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and you know, we yeah. we could certainly the the other thing is uh, we've changed how the number of required bike parking spaces is calculated and while um it, it while we wouldn't i think impose that different calculation mm -hmm. on you at this point mm -hmm. um and you're actually at least with this system <laughs> Which which has its issues. You were close uh, for this building. Yeah. Um, I, I think it required uh, under the new calculation. I think it would require twenty one mm. um, bike parking spaces. Yeah. Um, there's also a short term exterior bike parking requirement requirement, <coughs> um, but um, that's that's a separate issue. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think. Uh, it's you're you're gonna have you're gonna be further off over at Downing Square um, with the space that you've allocated over mm -hmm. there, and I want to when we when we get to Downing 
I don't know if we want to jump over there to talk about bike parking now, but uh, I, it wasn't as clear to me from the plans exactly what you were thinking. Yeah, over and there. I don't have a I don't have a full uh, plan of that room here, but I can pull that because it looked like there was a couple hundred square feet allocated. Yeah, Can right. Any suggestions for here before we leave here? Well, what I was going to suggest uh, overall, um, if if Jenny's amenable, is uh, that you uh, work with the department um, to okay. to try to find racks that yeah. will be more compliant and try to get as close as you can to complying with our our current bylaw okay. without otherwise interfering with it, with your plans here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, but I am curious to know what you have in mind for, yeah. for Downing. For so essentially what we've been looking at at, um, at Downing was putting in a couple of these, you know, obviously lifted up sort of you know, this type of bike rack, but essentially be able to um, put one of these units along this wall Okay, so basically it would, it would end up having two units. So I'm trying to remember, was it on this wall? It, it was two eight-foot units, and I think we yeah, had... Yeah, it says bike storage. Yeah, yeah, bike storage was in this mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. We have our elevator machine room right here, so we need to be able to get access to that as well, as well as be able to get around the, bike, the bikes mm -hmm. as, as well. Um, but basically it was the, the capacity we were talking about on this system was something like 18 bikes overall in the, uh, for, so two of those eight foot long sections um, in here, access from the outside, um, completely enclosed, but that would be uh, what we were looking to put and, in. And I think well. under the new, un, under the new guidelines, if they were applicable, right. um, be you would be looking at in excess of 50 bike parking yeah. spaces for, for yeah. a development That's that pretty, size. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've made some pretty substantial I would say. changes. Yeah. So, and, and so that's you're lucky you got so in under the old <laughs> bylaws <laughs> and got, yeah, and got not, this approved you know, under the old. Right. That's completely on a new standard, but that would also be like all enclosed interior, or is it parking? Some exterior Some as well. on the outside, covered? So are there, are there like a certain percentage that has to be covered? Or it's, it's broken down between long-term and short-term, okay. with and with long-term, there's, there's a, a preference for enclosed mm -hmm. and, and yeah. covered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, short term can be just you know regular bike racks. <laughs> well, short term, we could probably I mean, yeah, put some we, around we the have, site. We have <coughs> capacity yeah. on the site yeah. for for exterior par bike parking. I mean, mm -hmm. the 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 building itself is you know it's it's a lot more constrained, mainly because of separate reasons. I mean, we we have this really yeah. Frankly, strangely shaped building <laughs> because of all the setbacks, right. you know, mm -hmm. horning us in on it on, right. on each side, and that it gets a lot harder to just say, okay, I'm going to make mm -hmm. something bigger, right. especially on the ground floor. Yeah. Um, but, but there, are, but, th but with those mm -hmm. setbacks mm -hmm. comes space. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, if we're looking at, that, you know, we've got, you know, right in here. You know, it's, it's, it's almost perfect because we have sidewalk coming along here. We've got ramp coming up here. It's access to the bikeway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there's a good little... Even under the trees over here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. here it's a little tighter because mm -hmm. we've got grade and slope coming right. down. But right. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty good location right. because you're right against the retaining wall. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're away yeah. from the yeah. neighbors. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to try to squeeze something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we've, uh, we've been looking at other projects where you know where they couldn't have interior secure space mm. they've they've been looking at detached st structures mm. or, um, mm. you know like a bike cage kind of thing like the like the ones they have at alewife for instance mm -hmm. and that wouldn't be subject to setbacks well i think it might be it, it, yeah yeah but so I think that we, so, we would run into trouble with those, yeah, but I so think we could certainly if, do if, short term. If, if we were doing it as short term, I think that's yeah. I think we could do a there. number of short term sort of smaller racks yeah. around the so, building. So I, I, I think um, I, I think it's these are such significant projects. Um, it would it would be a shame to have to have them be so far off from. Uh, you know where we've where we've decided where to come. go with with bike parking. Yeah. So, 
you know, I think I think working with the department, mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to get at least at least closer. somewhat closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. We'll never Absolutely do that. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Any other questions from members of the board? Uh, my only other question just is about some of the um, coloration on this on the Downing Square yeah. building itself. So um, on the uh, 117 Broadway project, a lot of the where you're using a lot of the uh, the the fiber cement panels to mm -hmm. create some some linear elements mm -hmm. to really kind of break up the facade. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's kind of a, a, a gray or, or light gray or stone putty putty yeah, color. Yeah, it's kind mm -hmm. of that beige. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I think we'd be looking at these here. Here. Yeah, so Don't this one here, this, this is, kind of color. Yeah. yeah. So this is rendered as a pretty stark white here. Is that the intent or is this? I mean, I think I think what we were, I mean, the, the trim around here, mm -hmm. that was, um, I mean, we could, I think that is looking, I mean, we could add in a, a bit of the putty color to that because mm -hmm. we have like more than one mm -hmm. piece to it. Yep. The, um, the, because we do have white all the way around the windows, we have white trim around windows, yep. Yep. Um, obviously. Uh, so, but we, I think we would be looking, you know, there is another, you know, white, white color that, you know, in addition to to that, particularly yeah. at the downing side. You concerned about these thicker white? Yeah. Yeah, pieces? It's, yeah. They're, they're, um, they tend to break it up. Mm -hmm. It extends across, right? Right. They mm -hmm. might they might break it up yeah. a little more than okay. I yeah. think is, yeah. is intended. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the, one of the other things, if you could just take a look at it, I, I like the way that you are using some of these vertical elements to break apart um, where you have these bands of windows mm -hmm. to you know yeah. create a sense of um, architecture mm -hmm. and um, you know, re really breaking up the facade, but I'm just wondering, you know, again, like you have in, in the other facade, if that same shiplap element might continue above, so this really kind of reads as one mm -hmm. one element, um, rather than continuing the, the the larger fiber cement panels, just something to, to take a look at, because I think, you know, again, I like that you're creating these, these bands, mm -hmm. and it would mimic more what you're doing on, um, Broadway. Where you're, yeah, on, mm -hmm. no, on, on, oh. on uh, the smaller building. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Okay. We are using that same, which I like. Mm -hmm. um, we are using the same kind of kind of element, and it might just tie the two buildings together a little bit more, mm -hmm. even though this one is much more kind of smaller scale residential feeling. You know, this obviously, you know, reads well as a mass in and of itself, but this, again, it might just be, an, be a nice element to reinforce that residential scale. Rachel, okay. I would have. We'll take a look. I would have thought the other way around. I was going to suggest. Um, well, either way, I think it should be. Can I think you know? So y you could look at it either way, but I think I think it should read as a single element. Um, okay. Yeah. That's like on the blue here, I would suggest maybe removing some of the white bands there, mm -hmm. so they read more of a massive void up and separating chunks, out like they did on the other building. I kind of like <laughs> what they did on the other building by separating yeah. it. It's, 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 I see your point. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Not, let's not get too bogged down in sort of <laughs> yeah. design issues here. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I would go, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't mm -hmm. feel strongly either way. I just, the fact that it's different on both buildings, that's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. That's the point, yeah. yeah. And, and just to, to be clear, the special permits are issued, we're not going to be putting any new conditions on them. Or right. I understand, it's that, just something just to take a look at. Mm -hmm. like, I, no, I just I, had one other sorry. question, which I think was answered, and I just want to confirm. So this drawing uh -huh. shows trees on both Broadway and Everett Avenue, but you're not putting trees on Everett? Yeah, I don't think we have as much with the sidewalk there, so I, I, you know. If, yeah. if there's enough space, we will do it. We just don't think there's enough space yeah, in terms was, of yeah, putting that, in the sidewalk. That, I think that's the that, problem. And again, Perspective we was not going yeah. to impose it's, it's any conditions on you. To well, make it, it was just, but it it was just very confusing. Nice if you put street trees yes, yeah, we understand. We understand. Yeah. We, w we like them too. Yeah. <laughs> But on the submitted drawing, it's just on Broadway. Yes, so it's, that's it's the, just uh, in those. That's from those the original application. The submitted drawing doesn't right. follow right. on no, Broadway. Right, right, right. Just making right. Mm -hmm. So, but and and just in terms of following up on the Broadway trees, we would follow up with that with DPW as well. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, yes, yeah, yes, and we have it's similar to other. It's, it's similar to the sidewalk question as well. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And in that conversation, we could talk about future street tree plantings on Everett. Mm -hmm. 
and Broadway. I think I think anything that were named after this evening would be an administrative uh, <coughs> situation with the board, with the uh, department. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, the only, hopefully, it would be an administrative situation, but like just in case, you know, our fiber cement company discontinues a color in two months, mm -hmm. you know, that would be an administrative sort of thing. We would just talk to talk to Jim within and, reason. Yeah, <laughs> it would be at the discretion. We're not going green. Why <laughs> wouldn't you want yellow? Ma for instance? Ma major no. changes would have to reopen the special project. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, no. So, okay. is there anything else from? I'm just saying Sorry, I'm very happy this, this, this project is moving ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you know, I did sit on the board when we were reviewing the stuff here, and yes. uh, we're very excited and glad you guys getting financing and yes. moving ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we're very excited as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I do want to offer the folks in the audience the opportunity to ask some questions. Again, it's not a public hearing, but I will conduct it as if it were one. So please raise your hand, state your name and address for the record. Uh, you are on <coughs> camera, so be polite. And uh, we'll, we'll go in order. Yeah, if there are any questions sure. from members of the, the audience or comments? No, no, no. Yes, sir. Comments? Uh, I didn't realize I'd have the opportunity to speak. It just may not be the forum for it, but uh, I am a recipient of all the hard work and compassion and time that Housing Corp of Arlington puts in. and. I mean, just being a recipient of all the time you spend here, I'd like to extend my gratitude and thank you on that. Uh, I'm a seventh year quadriplegic at Capitol Square. And, uh, you know, as I say, I'm blessed to have it. I was a, uh, I'll go quick, uh, background. I was just a regular sales guy. I was an overachiever. I dove at Lake Wanapasaki on weekend with my family, uh, did a two-month coma, year in the hospital, two years with zero movement, and uh, kept pushing, but uh, to go from where I was to uh, living on disability, uh, it's just, it, there's no way I could have, you know, it was either, uh, to leave Spalding, it's either a nursing home mm -hmm. or a home. And, uh, everybody may have been on the board then uh, for the approval of Capitol Square, but uh, that's where Pam got me in. And uh, again, thank you so much. That's great. Thank you. Brian's thank a you. remarkable, remarkable healing yeah. process. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's very blessed. Mm -hmm. Very awesome. Great. Thank you, Brian. Anyone else? Thank you. All right. So what we would Steve? Oh, oh Steve, I'm sorry. Uh, I am um, Steve Robert Lack, 111 Sunnyside Avenue. I live a few blocks away from the proposed um, or the yeah the 117 Broadway project, and um, you know I'm looking forward to uh, welcoming Pam to the neighborhood. Um, Thank you. You've done a lot for um, providing you know affordable housing in uh, in the t in the town, and I think that's very commendable. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Right. Any other comments, questions, concerns? <coughs> Bring it back to the board at this time. So what we would be doing is voting to uh, approve the conditions as stated on the agenda uh, for <coughs> special permit 3519 and special permit 3520. Except that the general condition one mm -hmm. has been met. I think maybe. Yes. Yeah, okay, so except that the agenda. general condition has been met. Uh, for special permit 3519. We'll do this separately. So motioned. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And we would move that general condition one for special permit 3520 be accepted. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you very I appreciate much. Appreciate it. Great work. I'm really excited to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Should we leave all this here? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. All right. Let me take the whole okay. set. Close you want to have the whole set? I figured you'd want that. Uh, yeah, Thank just leave yeah, it. Yeah, I'll take it all down. Thank you. And I'll take. Oh, it's good feedback. Oh. Are you going to take those samples back? Yes, I am. You're going to take those samples back. Unfortunately. So I'll just take everything else. I'm not going to leave you with big piles of bread. Actually, she might like them is the point. Well, I was thinking that, but... Do you? Yeah. I mean, the other thing about it is, like... It's okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And she does, he doesn't want to get back can, and say, what color was it that we chose? It turns out that I took yours. Yeah, I understand. All right, we'll give them a minute or so to pack up. Um, 
we do still have some other agenda items to discuss, at least administratively. So move on there in just a moment. Thank you. Great job. Uh, all right, so meeting minutes from August 12th. Anyone have any comments, corrections on these? Yes, I have one. Go ahead, Cam. Um, she to make it find it. She was giving me the answer. What is about the food mark? Yes, uh, I did say to the most of them, I stated about the dimensions, uh, about the parking. Just big, big paragraph, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, food length. Oh, you mean, yeah. Um, the parking? Yes. Is that what you're talking about? The driveway the was not wide enough. Space dimensions. There's the parking width, the driveway width. It's yeah, it's the driveway width. Okay. Yeah. I do remember that. Pra parking driveway width yes. dimensions. Yeah, it, it tapered. Yeah. Is, is it That's further great. in? Yep. Okay. I remember that discussion. Great. And if they said someone figure it out. Okay. Uh, they're all full size cars, right? Or maybe you can make those. That's at the end. still something I'm working with them on. I think we were talking about changing the last one to either be compact or accessible or both. Or they still have to rework yeah. yes, that. Yes, I remember that, that discussion. Just so they, they get the, the proper width. That's all. Yep. Okay. So I deleted the words. I will delete the word space and put in driveway width. Okay. okay. All right. Anything else? Anyone else? Gene? I was not there. I'm upstairs. That's right. You're upstairs. <laughs> All right. So then. Motion to approve the minutes as uh, amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Moving on to our open forum. <coughs> so take public comment at this time on anything, everything. The board won't make any decisions. Not anything that comes before us tonight, but uh, I don't see people in the crowd. So if there's anyone who'd like to speak, go ahead, Steve. So actually, I'll I'll uh, I'll give the I'll make this your call. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Town Day. So I spent Town Day volunteering in uh, Envision Arlington's tent, uh, where we had a housing survey. Now I was planning to um, sort of summarize um, summarize the survey results. Mm -hmm. However, if the town manager will be here on October 7th, I'm wondering if it might be more appropriate to hold that. I think it would be, and if you could submit whatever you have so that we could take a look at it. And have a, I think what I'd like to do, as, as discussed at town meeting mm -hmm. since then, is for anything relating to housing issues that mm -hmm. are sort of on the horizon, okay. to do it at, on that, that night where there will be a better opportunity for a dialogue mm -hmm. amongst more stakeholders in town. I think that would be more fair to everyone involved, presenters, board members, town officials alike. I will so send you a document. Please send that in. We'll make it part of the record so that it's available okay. that evening and, and go from there. Mr. Seltzer. Uh, Don Seltzer, Irving Street. Uh, I just had an observation to make about the Heights Hotel proposal. That's coming up uh, at the end of October again, is that mm -hmm. it? Um, just two weeks ago, I guess at the select board meeting, uh, there was a hearing for the owner of the property on the other side who wants to put in a liquor store there. And I know that you've asked the developer for the hotel to do a detailed traffic study, and the select board had suggested to the liquor store owner that he should do a traffic study and maybe the two owners should be aware of each other's efforts since they obviously would interact uh, with each other. Okay, thanks for the suggestion. Sure. Okay, okay. anything else from anyone? Well, I, I just wanted to uh, thank Mr. Seltzer uh, mm -hmm. for uh, not just 
providing the information that was part of the record tonight, but uh, for your your participation uh, in in this ongoing process and uh, and also for for bearing with us as we work towards uh, improving our our public participation uh, in our meetings and and in our public hearings. Um, so. Uh, so thank, thank you, you for I think that. We're both trying to figure out <laughs> the proper form of dialogue. Um, I did want to ask you though, sure. um, without without diving into the materials you gave us, uh, it is a lot of material. It is. Um, is it is, is there anything in particular you think would be helpful to guide our review of it? Well, I plan on only presenting three slides that were part of it. And I just wanted to provide you with all the backup data that had gone into it. I didn't expect it, the stuff I threw at you to be a standalone um, type of document. Uh, that's why I just, I would have preferred to just talk, use summary slides, and explain how everything related and have the backup data if you are interested in mm -hmm. where it came from. And I, and I, too, appreciate you providing that so that we have some context to work with. I know there's a and lot there, and yeah. it's in a rough form. And, and, and as um, I said at the beginning of the meeting, what I will do is I will give you the first opportunity to speak after the presentation by the town and the town manager I appreciate <clears throat> so that we can have more, of, like I said, more of a dialogue about what, uh, <clears throat> what the end result might be and how we move through this process. Sounds good. Okay. Others? We are way ahead of schedule, but uh, I'm not going to complain about mm -hmm. that. So, unless anyone else has anything, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.